What do we have here? 1890 cook stove. It's a really cool item. I mean, believe it or not, they were still making these all the way up into the 1930s, cast iron stoves like this. Okay, so does this cook food or does this eat your house? Does both. Most people think that everyone had all this power. That was just in the big cities. Around 50% of the people in this country did not have power, and they still cooked with things like that. They put the stove like this in the kitchen. And you put a fan on this because they had fans back then. They were Sterling fans. That's the heat would make the fans move, and they'd blow um, the heat into the rest of the house. So where'd you get it? 12, 13 years ago, I had a, a customer that was downsized, but they wanted to sell some things in their house. So you buy a lot of antiques? Occasionally we buy some. We've got them at a farm that a friend of mine and I own. Mostly vintage tractors. We do tractor pulls out there, so that's kind of our hobby. What is a tractor pull? There's not really a way to describe it. You have to experience it, OK? <laughs> so how much you want for this thing? I'd like to get 6000 for it. How long have you had it? 12, 13 years, probably. They don't go for as much money nowadays. Younger people don't buy them. It was always older people that bought them, and they're going away. So the price has been coming down over the years. I mean, a small one like that, they go for like $3,000 cleaned up. I'd give you like 1500 bucks for it. I can't do that. But do you have reasonably priced tractors? Yes, sir. Can we swing by there one morning before the event starts? Absolutely. And you're coming with? Because you need to know what a tractor pull is. All right. You have to experience it. Come with me, man. I'll get your info. All right, thanks. I'm just saying, every American needs to know what a tractor pull is.